In this video, we're gonna be making art out of kinetic sand. You guys will have four hours to make a kinetic sand piece, and whichever one of you has the best kinetic sand piece can win up to 10 grand to split with a random subscriber. It should be pretty interesting. Kinetic sand is a very satisfying medium. It's soft and crumbly, but can also hold its shape when squeezed together almost like clay. I can't wait to see what everyone makes. But before we start the time, I have topics for you all. Oh! All right, Jay, close your eyes. All right, what does this say? Anything but a portrait. As long as it's not a human face, you can do anything you want. Yes! <laughs> Ew! Oh, no. Building? I guess you're doing a sand castle. All right, Michelle. <laughs> Nature. Nice. All right, Ben. Alien. No, I'm gonna get a bad one. You might get Vinny's choice. David, good luck. Come on, baby. Monster. Before we start, is there anybody that wants to switch topics? Has someone got an animal yet? So animal could still be in there? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do that. All right, David is forfeiting monster. Oh my God, if I get Vinny, I'm gonna leave. All right, you can choose one more. Oh. Vinny's toy! <laughs> You get to choose David's topic. Fencing sea cucumber in the desert with cactuses around him. We'll generalize that we into a fight scene. Hey everyone, your four hours starts now. In front of them is a ton of kinetic sand. They have so many colors to choose from. They have all the kinetic sand they could want. The last kinetic sand video we shot, I actually won. But I still don't really know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So, ben. Oh, it smells like blueberry. Yeah, that's sick. I think I'm gonna do a skeleton of a reptile. You know how cool this is? If I just apply a little bit of pressure, it's almost like slime, that's cool. I'm just trying to practice using the sand right now, but I don't know what I'm making. Hey Michelle, you want some pink kinetic sand? Yes, please! <laughs> And after playing around and starting to work with the sand, it was time for our first mini challenge to see if someone would win an advantage. All right, everyone, we have our first mini challenge and the winner will get something very, very interesting. You guys will have two minutes to make a sand castle. Best one gets this advantage. Go! So this advantage is very interesting. They're gonna be able to eliminate a lot of colors from the other contestants. Let's see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing. I obviously never played with sand castles as a kid. You guys have 40 seconds left. Jake, do you have anything done? Why won't this open? Five, four, three, two, one. Stop what you're doing. Let's go around and take a look. Here's my magical fairy castle. That looks Wait. interesting. Is that like a little statue in the middle? Yeah, and then there's a little bridge. What is that? There's a sea creature's tail coming out of the moat and there's two little scrunchies on the lookout. Okay, Michelle, nice and neat. Kind of looks like a giant slug with some stuff on its That's back. That's exactly what I was going for. Is it hot in here? Those aren't sand. If you take away the stuff that's not sand, what do you have? You have a spoon and a pile of sand. I'll take out the spoon. You have a pile of sand. David, I'm gonna go with you. Yay! I feel like in general, yours had the most variety. So here's what happens. You get to eliminate colors from contestants. So for one person, you'll eliminate one color. Another person, two colors. And another person, three. Go ahead and choose. I'm for sure gonna punish Jake. He, said he punishes me every single so video. Jake doesn't get green. Great. You are probably gonna get punished. <laughs> Bean doesn't get black or green, because you had alien. You're gonna hit me with the triple? Oh wait, no, I don't wanna hit you with the triple. Wait, hit I'm Jake gonna... with the triple. Yeah, I'm gonna hit Jake with the Why? triple. Why? This is roommate bias. So no green. No green. White. No white. And no, no, no black. No black guy. And you don't get white. Aww. If David eliminated your color, you can't use it for the rest of the challenge. But I was gonna do a skeleton. Great, thanks, David. I can't even use this sand because there's green mixing. Sorry, I'm sorry. You're, you're terrible. It's okay. I'm gonna win a mini challenge today, and I'm gonna stop the dice. And even though getting colors eliminated was unfortunate, those contestants were able to start working around their disadvantage. So if you guys have been watching the Crafts Channel for a while, you know sometimes I let my videographer bet no! on who no! wins. You know the first video he bet on was kinetic sand, and he bet on me, and I lost. And apparently in the comments you say my videographer is cursed because he's made eight bets so far and every time he chooses the person and then they lose. So David, give me the camera. <laughs> oh, Zach. David, if you get it correct, you win $500. Here we go again, guys. Ben, do you want David to bet on you? I mean, I'll accept the challenge, but if I lose, it's your fault. He does this no, every bet time. On David. David's bet on me a lot of times and every single time he's done it, I've lost. I might bet on her. You think, I'm not gonna win. You think the person You've never bet on me before. I'm probably not gonna bet on you. <laughs> I like the color Jake's got going here. So I'm gonna bet on Mackenzie. No! I haven't won a craft video in so long! I'm not cursed! 
David, uh, I can't believe you just did that. Give me the camera back. I'm ready to record stuff. All right, Mackenzie, how do you feel about your chances? I feel like my chances just went completely out the window. I'm still going to try, but I'm not trying for David. Today, we're going to see if the curse is lifted or not. But if Mackenzie doesn't win, everyone comment about David. I haven't actually started my piece. I've been just mixing all of these colors that I'm going to need. Everyone has 2D pieces now, but I already started and I don't want to stop. Hey, what is... That doesn't look like you're working. I'm mixing the sand. Calm down. Now, with the curse placed on Mackenzie, I decided to go check in with the contestants. All right, David, so what are you making? Right, I'm gonna make two peacocks fighting. See, you're going for more of a 2D Yeah, it's look. gonna be more like a painting. Oh, this is gonna be a fun video. I'm already liking the ideas. Um, my topic is reptiles, so I am going to be doing a snake. Michelle, what are you working on now? Uh, I am doing a turtle. What are you making, Vinny? I'm making the Taj Mahal. I'm gonna make Predator. I remember last time you made Predator, and it had a really good mouth, and then everything was just kind of there. Yeah. All right, well, good luck. And while some artists were struggling, <clears throat> Michelle. The subscribers can't say no to this face. It's white all over the eyes. I know. Others were off to an impressive start. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. You might want to take a look at David's piece. It's I looking know. really good. Wait, really? I know. I saw it. Are you nervous at all that you have the best piece, though? Yeah, but you need to stop talking about it so loud. Spoiler alert, David. You're really gonna want to win these mini challenges. I know, Zachary. While watching my friends work with kinetic sand, I couldn't help but play with some of the sand myself. It's so satisfying. We well, you know how like sand usually like all falls apart. It's just kind of clumps together. <laughs> Yeah, this is way easier to clean up than regular sand. Just kind of clumps into a ball that you can throw at your friend. Or you could throw it at someone who's not gonna win. Or you can throw it at your boss. Hey, 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 I know that if I lose the next mini challenge, my peacock is screwed, so I'm trying not to be too attached to her. But it is looking really, really good. The next mini challenge is about to be super crucial for the artist to win. It's going to change everything. We're around 80 minutes in, and I have a plan to change everything up. So everyone, follow me to the other set. We hid little beads inside of here, and whoever gets the most beads gets to create one rule everyone needs to follow for the rest of the challenge. Oh. On top of that, inside one of these balls of kinetic sand is a star. Whoever gets the star gets the biggest advantage of the entire video. What? I want the star. So let me just spin this a couple times. All right, Vinny, choose your first one. Come on. No bead, Vinny. Absolutely bamboozled. No. Nothing? Oh, snap. No. Is there a bead? I don't think so. Saying, I don't think you guys understand how big the advantage the star is gonna be. Stop! My heart's actually pounding so fast. Found the star. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Ezra, you're just saying it. Jake got the star. I'll tell you the advantage later, but trust me, this is gonna change everything. All right, Mackenzie. No. 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 Nope. You guys are just unlucky. There, there should be a couple beats in here. Oh, where are the beats? No. Oh. Bead. All right, Mackenzie got a bead. Oh, 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 the bead. Oh, a bead. <laughs> no bead for Ben. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Michelle got a bead. Yes. One of them is going to get a bead. <gasps> All right, Mackenzie. You win the bead challenge, and Jake, you have the star. So everyone return to your seats. All right, Mackenzie, so like I said, you get to create one rule that everyone needs to follow for the rest of the challenge. Let me think of how I can have this benefit me and screw everyone else over. It ended up taking a long time for Mackenzie to come up with a new rule, but eventually she ended up with this. Mackenzie, why don't you tell everyone what you have planned for them? For the rest of the challenge, you can only use your toes. What? What? All right, guys, I have a wart. No, Michelle, get that off here. What's that smell? Is that your feet? Is that actually going to tell them what, what's going on? OK, just kidding, everyone. Oh my god. Jake, you can stop having a tantrum. We are using uh, drunk goggles for 90 minutes. And that's the real one. I'm attacking Mackenzie and David with my advantage. Now, before we start the drunk goggles, Jake, would you like to come with me? I actually wasn't mad about the prank. I am very good with my feet. Oh. This is probably one of the craziest advantages we've ever had on crafts. I'm ready. You get to choose three people and switch their pieces and topics. I think this is about to be insane. Since Mackenzie's prank was so good, I have to choose her and I have to choose David. And then I don't really know. No one else deserves this. I don't deserve it either. Yeah, you deserve it. Vince, are you really passionate about that? I absolutely hate this thing. OK, then you give your piece to David. Ken's will give her piece to you. And then Ken's will get David's fights. Everyone, switch. Good luck. That is becoming a fairy castle. 
<laughs> Here you go, Kans. Earlier, I was really afraid of David winning. And now that he gave his piece to Mackenzie, now I'm really afraid that Mackenzie's going to win. And I wasn't previously planning on attacking Kens, but then she publicly shamed me in front of everybody. So then I decided to attack her. That piece is going to die with Vinny. That's not true. It's going to be a good snake. I'm really sad about my peacocks because they looked really good. And I got rid of Vinny's Taj Mahal. And I'm doing a castle. All right, everyone, close your eyes and grab a random drunk goggle. <laughs> All right, everyone, you got to put on your drunk goggles for the next 90 minutes. Holy crap, I can't see anything. And you know, I might be regretting this. I'm not sure why Mackenzie chose this, and I'm not sure why she chose 90 minutes, but here we are. Hi. This is all your fault. I don't think mine are as bad as everyone else, um, but it's still really hard to see, and I'm definitely going to get a headache. Uh, drunk goggles stop. <laughs> Since the drunk goggles were so hard to work with, I decided it was a perfect time for my friends to call you guys. My subscribers. Hello. Hi, Anita. We are doing a craft studio right now where we are making art with kinetic sand. And we've done that in the past, and I actually won. So I'm feeling confident. If I win, we get to split a tenth of a penny for every view we get. So if you get a million views, it's a thousand dollars and we get to split it. Or if it gets like five million views, then we split five thousand dollars. Do your best job, but I know you can win because you are so good. I'll try to finish, actually. I'll, I'll be in touch. Oh, hi, Ben. Bye. And now it's a time for another challenge to see if anyone gets an advantage. All right, everyone, listen up. We have another challenge. Come with me to those tables over there. We only have 45 minutes left and I am not even close to finishing. And now we have another challenge. So for this challenge, you guys will make the tallest kinetic sand mound possible. And whoever has the tallest sand mound will win one of their family members $500 credit to ZHCstore.com. I'm gonna get so many space turkeys. Also, you'll get a little advantage. You will have 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. We actually have a lot more plushies coming out. These are the four available right now, and they're really cute, they're really soft. Out of these four, which one's your favorite? Uh, astronaut turkey. How about you, Mackenzie? Fire, obviously. Bun bun is my favorite. Astronaut turkey. I like bun bun. I like the fire guy. I'll choose regular turkey. Regular turkey's my favorite. Little do we know, while the artists were busy during their mini challenge, Michelle's piece broke. I wonder how she's gonna react. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop what you're doing. Yours is seven inches. Mackenzie, yours hurry, is hurry, six hurry. and a half inches. 7.2 inches. Wait, get mine, get mine first. 6.2 inches. <laughs> now it's three. Seven inches, six and a half inches. No. Michelle, yours is the yeah. tallest. One person from your family will get $500 store credit to ZHCstore.com. And if you think these plushies are cute and you want to get them too, go to zhcstore.com right now and buy them. All right, everyone, go back and Michelle, let me give you your advantage. All right, Michelle, there's exactly 45 minutes left. Your advantage is you get to choose three people and they each have to help you for 15 minutes. <gasps> I have to choose three people to help me for 15 minutes. I'll start with Mackenzie so she can have the last 30 minutes. Wait, Michelle, who's going to be the next one? All uh, right, David, so he can have the last 15 minutes. And then Vinny, you get to take a break at the end. And here we go. Oh my god, my turn to win! Who did this? Good thing you got Mackenzie, because now she can help you fix it. Mackenzie, oh help me god. with my turtle! There's now 20 minutes left in the competition and everyone was racing to finish their pieces. Mackenzie helped me for 15 minutes and David helped me for 15 minutes. And now I just need Vinny to help me. Asking me now? Yeah, I'll let you go earlier if you help me. All right, what do you want me to help you with? Make me a drink. Does it have to be good? Well, preferably. Actually, I'm gonna try to finish. I have a lot of progress done. I don't have too much to do, so hopefully I can get in all the details that I want to and win for you. I'm just adding some finishing touches to my piece and hopefully it's good enough to win for Nicole. I'm almost on my castle. There's 11 minutes left and I have one final twist. Oh no! I will go around and play all of you guys in rock, paper, scissors. If you lose, your time is over. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, David, you gotta keep going. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's go! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! I feel no. like I'll be the one that gets it. Rock, paper, scissors, Shoot! Let's go! Wait, I'm on a losing streak today. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yes! Oh, yes! yes. I'm gonna keep going! It is what it is. And every person that got extra time literally works down till the last second. All right, everyone, final 20 seconds. Add your finishing touches. Oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, one. And that concludes the kinetic sand competition. Woo! Let's see how these turned out. I hope Ow. the person voting likes rainbow turtles. One person, raise your hand. 
All right, we'll start with you. Mackenzie, tell me about your piece. Originally, I was doing a snake, but my piece got swapped. So I kept what David was doing. I have my two peacocks fighting. Right now, you still have the most crafts wins at the moment. Yeah, but I am slowly just deteriorating. I think Mackenzie, hang in there for your fans. All right, Michelle. My topic is nature, so I did a rainbow turtle world behind it. This is one of your better pieces, Michelle. Yeah, I got Mackenzie and David's help for the head and eyes, and I think that really made the piece. Well, it looks very cute. I like the colors. Good job, Michelle. Hey, Vinny, tell me about your kinetic sand piece. Well, I started off with the Taj Mahal. But that's clearly not the Taj Mahal. And uh, I ended up with the snake. All right, good job, Vinny. Jake, I need your honest opinion. Do you like working with kinetic sand? Yeah, I mean, I won the last video, and this video, I have an even better piece than last time, so I'm pretty confident. I feel like with regular sand, you can't really mold it. And then, I'm not sure if you guys know, but you guys can actually mix colors with these. I actually mix some colors for my piece as well. Tell me about your piece, Jake. Uh, this is Predator from Alien vs. Predator. It's pretty finished. I would have added dreadlocks that Predator has, um, but I didn't have time for that. Well, I do have to say, this is a lot better than your other Cheese Predator. Good job. Coming back around, David, yes. tell me about your piece. And I did a magical fairy castle, and I added lots of trees and grass, and tried to make it really big, and give it a lot of depth. I like it, it looks really fun. I like the little stars. Very nice. Thank you. All right, Ben, tell me about your kinetic sand piece. This is my purple alien. I based it off of a xenomorph skull, and it's an alien. Do you wish you could have used black or green or something? If I had black, I definitely would have just made a full on xenomorph. It's pretty solid. Good job, Ben. I'm gonna take a look around and see which one's my favorite. That piece automatically makes it to the finals. I wish Zach would have done this for like the last 10 challenges. What the heck? It's okay, because every time Zach chooses someone to go to the finals, they lose. I'm gonna have to go with Jake's. Yeah! <laughs> I thought you had really cool shading, cool details. I thought it was a cool piece in general, so you're going to the finals. All right, everyone else, we're gonna start asking random subscribers which one they like better. You guys are gonna compete head to head. Let's do this. David, do you think today's the day you break the curse? It is today. Well, I may be on the finals, but anything can happen on ZUC Craft. All right, everyone, close your eyes and pick a card. Pick oh, a card. And yours is the last one. Who has the turkey faces? Oh, Vinny. Ben and Vinny. I just asked a random subscriber which one they like better, and they said the person getting eliminated is Ben. Vinny, you're moving on. Actually? Yep, and just like that, you're out of the competition. Bro. David, you get the last one. All right, who's got the turkey faces? Michelle. Ah! All right, Michelle <laughs> versus over. David. It's over for me. Let's see which one's better. So this random subscriber says, ah, I don't like this they're typing, all. I don't like this at all. only because it's my mom's birthday this week and she loves turtles. So the turtle. Oh, I'm sorry, David. <laughs> I hope, you beat, I hope you beat Jake. I hope I beat Jake. I hope I beat Jake. Thank no, I really... you. All right, who's got That's the faces? <laughs> what the? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Mackenzie, you're automatically in the top three. Not current. Whichever one of you guys gets through faces Mackenzie. Oh boy. And the person moving on to face Mackenzie is Michelle. Woo! Come on, turtle. I could really use a win right now, and I'm really surprised that we made it this far. Yeah, well, we haven't had to face anyone yet. Michelle has won two in a row so far, so she's on a hot streak. Mackenzie, David, you guys are about to do your first face-off, so let's see what our subscriber says. The person moving on to the finals is... Are you nervous, Michelle? Yes! Are you nervous, Mackenzie? Oh no, because I know we're screwed. The turtle! Oh! Michelle, you're yeah! moving on to the finals! It looks like David's 0 of 9. I think it's time for a new videographer. I did almost bet on Jake, because I put a lot of faith in Mackenzie. Spit and and it out there. She just can't seem to get the job done. Yeah, All right, Mackenzie, I'm sorry. That does mean you're out. In the finals, we're going to do a best of three. Oh. So I am going to ask three random subscribers which one their favorite is, and we're going to see who wins. Please. I am really, really nervous. I really, really want to win. I really, 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 really want to win. First person. Jeez. Says, I love the turtles, it's so cute. Ah! Michelle, you get a vote! What I was scared of happening now we don't. Mackenzie, do you want to read the next one? The next vote goes to. Rum roll! Predator! Oh! And that's what I'm talking about. I'm so excited for the next vote, I can't even sit down. Oh, no! no! <laughs> guys, everyone, gather in. Turtle. Jake, Michelle, whichever one of you guys gets this vote wins. You don't listen to me! I'm not here! Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here.
He's actually gonna read the book. Listen, let's say gonna go shoot way right up in the sky. This random subscriber said, this is really difficult because the first one is really cool, but the turtle is super cute. <gasps> cute! Cool! But I will have to go with... Turtle Brock! The Predator! Woo! Michelle, you are so close! I can't be out of Congratulations, Jake. This video was sponsored by Kinetic Sand. They send us amazing products to work with. So everyone, say thank you, Kinetic Sand. We love your products. Please keep sending us products. Please keep sponsoring us. We love you. We love your stuff so much. All right, congratulations, Jake. Congratulations, Akshay. Subscribe if you haven't already. We might call you. Goodbye. Kinetic Sand feels so cool. Look at that. This didn't look like this, I swear. What are you gonna do, a frog? They're all obsessed with me. I'm not really sure what I wanna do. That's a turtle head. Bye, have a great time.